I ride on the ranch today, so please bear with gunfight here in the background. Today we're talking about a subject that has been done to death, but we're going to do it anyway, and that is the range of shotgun slugs. A while ago I did a presentation on shotguns loaded with buckshot for hunting and anti-personnel purposes, and part of that discussion was the topic of how far can you reasonably expect your maximum effective range to be with buckshot, and what are some things you can do to increase it? One of the things we did was use federal premium ammunition with flight control wad, which in the right shotgun can significantly increase your maximum effective range over other types of buckshot. But in doing that presentation, it brought up some discussion about if you want to increase your maximum effective range, why not use a slug? That is a very viable option in a lot of circumstances, but not always. If you're using a shotgun for anti-personnel purposes, there's a good chance that you're using it professionally and with ammunition that was issued to you, and a slug might not have been issued to you. In some circumstances, you may provide your own shotgun and your own ammo, but you still have an employer that has some input on what kind of ammo you use, such as if you're an armored car driver. It's my understanding that some of them supply their own guns and ammunition, and your employer might prohibit the use of slugs. In a hunting scenario, there are some jurisdictions where slugs are required, and there's some jurisdictions for when hunting, slugs are prohibited. And sometimes, even when they are allowed, they're contraindicated. And I used the example of hunting in an area with tall grass, a lot of big bushes where I might get a short shot, but I might get a longer shot, and I didn't want to use slugs because of the proximity of a road over here and some houses about 800 yards over here. And I said that because slugs can go hundreds of yards, I didn't think using a slug was a good idea in that circumstance. Well, somebody contacted me and told me that slugs don't go nearly as far as I think they do and sent me a link to his video showing where he had a great deal of difficulty engaging a target at 200 yards with a slug and he said he had to aim about 12 feet high. I didn't think you'd have to aim that high to go 200 yards. So today, let's shoot some slugs, specifically Winchester Super X 12 gauge 2 and 3 quarter inch 1 ounce rifled slug, and let's see what kind of groups I can get, what kind of range I can shoot with them, and how much elevation I need to use to get those ranges. This is my Rock Island Armory VR60 shotgun, and I have the cylinder bore choke tube installed. So despite the way it looks, it's really just a smooth bore cylinder bore shotgun. It does have rifle sights on it, and I have these sights set to shoot slugs at 50 yards. And I have the shotgun loaded with Winchester Super X 12 gauge 2 and 3 quarter inch 1 ounce rifled slug. So let's shoot this silhouette from 200 yards and see if we hit it, and if so, where? I fired seven shots and I count six impacts. I don't know where the seventh one went. And there's a couple that are a little bit off, but mainly a fairly well-centered group. Now remember that's me shooting from a bench rest at 200 yards, but that's also 200 yards with a smooth bore shotgun and conventional rifled slugs. So altogether, I'd say not a bad group. But in talking about how much drop we're getting, remember that firearm was zeroed at 50 yards. To account for the drop, I was aiming at the neck of the silhouette, so this represents about three and a half feet of drop. And that might sound like a lot, but it's really not that much when you're considering the ammunition we're talking about, and three and a half feet is certainly a lot less drop than the 12 feet some people claim they're getting at 200 yards. Now I've set up a new target, and let's try that same drill from 300 yards.
I fired nine shots from 300 yards and only two hit the paper. Now in shooting these, I was elevating, but at different levels for different shots because I didn't really know how much drop we'd get. But now looking at the impacts in the paper and looking at the impacts in the snow around me, I can see that none of the shots I fired went over the target. There's two impacts in the target and a third one in the snow showing that it was at the right elevation but just missed the paper by a little bit, also missing the camera by about a foot. And I can see a lot of the impacts in the snow out here showing that a lot of those slugs were going anywhere from four to eight feet low. So now that I have a little better idea of how much I need to elevate, let's mark these shot holes Go back to 300 and try this drill again. This time I was elevating about eight feet over the target, and although there's only one impact in the black of the silhouette, there's five impacts on the paper or on the cardboard. And I can see a couple of impacts in the snow where a couple of other rounds were good for elevation just off to one side of the target, which may be me, or it may be due at least in part to the breeze I've got blowing this direction. So we see that slugs can effectively engage a target at 300 yards, but how much effectiveness does the slug have? I can tell you that this cross beam of wood is a 2x4, one of the slugs hit it and went clear through, so they do still have some power. And looking at these results, there's every reason to think that the slugs could go 400 with the right elevation. I'm not going to shoot that far because 300 is the maximum distance on this range. Now in a previous presentation when I said I was hunting in an area where houses were 800 yards away and I didn't want to use slugs because they could go hundreds of yards, I never meant to imply that it could go 800 yards. Although I guess with just the perfect elevation shooting in the right direction in a hurricane, they probably could go 800. But when I say they can go hundreds of yards, yes they can. And to the assertion that slugs won't go as far as I think they will, yes they do. So as always, don't try this at home on what you call a professional, and thanks for watching the How Far Can Slugs Go video.